Alrighty guys, uh, this is Michael. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do right now is we have this items page, right, that we just did. And we navigated to that, but what we need to go ahead and do is we probably want to have a title on this page, I would say. So, oh, we're on the wrong page. Not this, it's full page. Alright, let's go back over here. We need to search for this box a little bit bigger. Uh, where are we at here? Alright, let's do title. Panel in XAML with grids. What you can do is you can just start grid dot column span, and you can do this with rows too. If you want to span two rows, or you want to span one row, because what they do in Windows 8, they use a lot of grids. So column span equals we're going to say two, and then this text binding group dot title. We want to take this to feed because that's just what we did over here, and I'll show you. If we go to the C sharp of this right here. We changed this where we are right here. Let's go all the way up to the top. Right here, override, void load state. We have in here, this shows you, okay, assign a bindable group to this, default on model group. We changed it to feed, okay? So basically, that's what we changed right over here. So if you see, I'm going to go ahead and save this, double save. Excuse me, hit local machine. We can go ahead and navigate to this now, and you can see here's our title. But we still have this problem right here with the HTML coming through, and it actually has the sort of title stuck in here. But what we need to do is we need to force this through our uh, basically our feed class, right? So we need to show this in a web view. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this. I'm gonna stop this while it's working. And what we want to go ahead and do is I want to show you right now it uses a scroll view. So if you guys go to where were we at? We went to the split page right here. This is where we're at. If you go to, there should be a. I don't need to. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see where we're at. Scroll view. Scroll view. Scroll view. Item detail. We're going to make some changes to this, alright? Um, a lot of this stuff we might be able to leave. Right, so we're right here in the scroll. View. So we got one. I'm gonna go ahead and change this row span. Let's just make this one for now. Uh, let's do this padding at padding. Let's leave that right there. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, you can figure out what this is uh, later on. Then you can check out some sample tutorials. I'm sure someone has some out there. Now let's go to create an X name. Just these as we go down so you don't have to don't have to freak out there. So what I want is I want the rows here. Alright. We'll take this out. I just had one as many rows, we'll just make this some edits. And as far as uh, we got some row definition. Columns, uh, we're not gonna need to worry about. In the stack panel and this other text file. And while we're still inside the grid, we're going to be adding some stuff right here. I want to have a type of bunch of stuff, so let me see if this will come out. What I'm thinking, let's do a text block. Oops. Text block. We're going to call this x name equals, uh, this is going to be item title. And we need to bind it. So we're going to do a text equals, and then we're going to be binding to title, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and do some style. And let's do style equals, let's see, static resource, sub, header, text. Order. 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 
inside this border, I gotta put in a grid. So let me go ahead and put a grid down, and then we're, this is where we're gonna put our red line, guys. Uh, a few. We need to give this an X name. X name is gonna equal content view. Alright, here's our web view. Close that off there. Still got our scroll view. Oops, I need to close all that right too. Right. And you can go ahead and clean this up if you want to. It's up to you how that looks a little bit. Some people are real thinking about it. One of the things I'm going to can't get it. I don't know those people, so let's go ahead. This is going to have to be moved down, as you can tell. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Now, a web control uh, basically gives you a way to host some HTML data uh, within your app. But if you look at the source property that we have, uh, it takes a URI uh, of the web page in order to display. So it's just, it's basically your HTML data is just a string of HTML. Uh, it doesn't have a URI that you can bind to the source property. So luckily, Here's a navigate. We got this thing called navigate to stream method that you pass your string of HTML to. So, in other words, whenever you're using the web view control uh, to view content, uh, there are some failures that occur. So we have to actually deal with these failures. So we'll talk about this real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and hook by this content view. Okay, I want you to select this right here. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to get a property window. If I just click on that thing, then we need to go ahead and find the navigation field. And we're going to set the navigation field. And we're going to go ahead and call this content view underscore navigation field. Okay, and remember, we do this at the end. I'm going to take us to the C sharp page. So, now, it's open in the editor, so we're going to add some code to it real quick. We need a string, we need to do an error string, okay, equals, and then what we're going to do is, because this is in inside of an HTML thing, we're just going to say open to the paragraph thing, page could not uh, be loaded, okay, and then we're just going to close off the ping, and we're going to need to do a P open paragraph, Content. 